this thing that's left out of the equation, this observer, who is the observer? What is the observer? Is it just me, I, Fred Allen Wolfness? that's the observer? And it's a very hard thing to get your mind around because everything feels very real. I feel very real. You look very real to me. But what I'm really looking at is my experience of you is taking place on an internal level. So if I'm having some kind of concern about you, if I want something to change on the outside, I don't mess with the outside. That's like trying to wipe my mirror clean when I need to be shaved. What I need to do is look on the inside of me, change me, and son of a gun, magically, miraculously, the outer changes. It's all made up, see? That's the height of an illusion. Any creation in the physical is still an illusion. But there is real power in love, see? Because it's consistent with the power of the divine. So when you surrender to that, you have the experience of the real power. You can feel the love. You can feel the joyfulness, see? And that's power. But once you appropriate it and want to do something out of alignment with the divine with it, good luck to you. The perception that we have the power to do anything is silly. We don't. I think it's you who are the illusion. You are the one thinking that you're having all these perceptions. That's the illusion. You're not really here. Only it is here. Only consciousness is present. Everything else is everything else. It's smoke and mirrors, but it's not real.